Well, we've been trying to look for is the Kate Bush cassette tape. If you watch Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. You can sell a cassette for 100 bucks probably. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, the comics are right here. Okay. Uh, the lady that lived here, she was, what, 103? Oh, wow. But this is the type of thing that I was hoping to find. Bloggy flips. You think price. So okay. If there's something you see and it doesn't have price, just... I'll just ask you. Awesome. Thank you so much. So I noticed your camera there. I do little uh, yard sale toy hunting vlogs and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, that's what yeah. I figured. Yeah, I saw like you had some comics and stuff in the ad, so. Yes, yeah, so if you find something, you capture the moment. Yeah, of. yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Well, I hope you do. Uh, the comics are right here. Okay. Um, so we're just friendly neighbors that have helped uh, the lady that lived here. She was. What, 103? Oh, wow. Passed away, and so we're kind of helping the, um, the the estate owner kind of move some of the contents. Um, she had kids all through out. the 50s and 60s. Sure. So I would imagine the comics probably belong to her kids. Right on. Um, um, do you know what you're asking on this? So, on the whole lot? Yeah, sure. I was hoping to get, again, I, I spent maybe five minutes kind of going through some. Right. I did go buy some sleeves because I know that that, you know. Yeah, helps. yeah, that helps. Uh, the first three i think are the best okay uh, in terms of you know cover uh-huh uh, maybe i might have missed something i don't know but i, I put 30 piece on those okay um, but as a lot maybe if you bought them all uh, i was thinking maybe like 400 bucks four so okay take a look and... awesome sounds good okay. thank you so much Would you consider three? Are you interested in uh, like this stuff here? I didn't see this stuff. Yeah, this was. Okay, so you were talking about this stuff too. Well, yeah, I was. I was thinking four for the comics, and then mm -hmm. uh, some of those. I honestly, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know what the value is on those. But That's kind of fun. Would you, if we just talk about, would you split it? Do three fifty? Three fifty, sure. I'll do that. Yep, awesome. And then uh, I'll leave these out then? Sure. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. I'll take those. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. that. And I'll keep looking for a minute. Okay. I'll set these over, over here. Awesome. Appreciate that, bud. I saw those in the picture too, so yeah, yeah I was going to ask about those uh, Tiger Beats. Show these two. Yeah, yeah. If you like comics, you might like these. I yeah, those are kind of neat. These were the daughters, one of the daughters that lived here. Okay. A lot of the like early teen stuff, so I'll set these here for you. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the Kabbalah game. I thought that was a strange thing I've never seen in my life. <laughs> Puppy.
All right, when you get a sec, will you price that and I'll pay you and get out of your hair? Yeah. Um, and then possibly the box of magazines too, if you had a price sure. on those. Uh, How about, would you do 75 on that box? Is that fair for the, the publications? Uh, possibly, what are you thinking on this? About just a hundred bucks for- Okay, for so, so, so 450? 350, 450. Total. Perfect, yep, deal. Good deal. That works. Are these, what's, what do you know about the mass? They're not worth much, but I always buy them. Okay. Just cause I think they look cool. Okay, all right, hey. <laughs> I mean like, I wouldn't care if you told me they were worth a hundred bucks. I, I I wish they were because I get a bunch of them, but no, I just I just love the look the, of them. I assume they're Halloween masks. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. like they would come in like boxes, like with a costume, yeah. you know, like a plastic cape and stuff like that. But cool. I just like them. 51, 52, 3, 54, 20, 40, 50. Awesome, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, absolutely. I can't make any promises on the game. Oh no, it's, it's I don't know if it's cursed or it's worth a gamble. All right, I'm gonna make a couple trips. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good luck, bud. Hey, appreciate it. Are you guys open yet? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Good morning. Good. Good, how are you? Okay. <clears throat> How much have on the TV? Make an offer. All right, let me think about it. Okay. <laughs> it does work. Yeah. It, okay. Uh, used to have it up in my room, and then we just switched like Chromecast and stuff. And okay. Like coax up there anymore. So. I've been looking for one for video games. Yeah, it's just coax input, so. Um, Oh, okay. Have, so uh, it doesn't have the RCA. RCA, but get a little adapter. Right. Probably. Okay. I'll think about it. Thank you, man. Here's some GI Joe. Some oh, okay. GI Joe. I'm not sure the vintage on some of these. Right on. Clearing out the basement and stuff. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. From my understanding, it's 1985 based on the stamp, 854. Okay. So the first two, the year, and then the month it was made. Huh. So that's the old. Oh, that's cool. That's vintage. Yeah, then. it is neat. <clears throat> is it better just to make a little pile yeah, of what I'm like interested it. in? That'll be fine, yeah. Okay. Specific I look for old toys, yeah. comics, cards, okay. games, you know, stuff you don't like have that. You YouTube channel, do you? I do, Froggy okay. Flips. Okay, I think we've seen it then. That's funny. Oh, that's cool. This is about an hour away from my house, but I, I saw a sale over in Farmland. Okay, and yeah, then, so try to get the area yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Get out of your normal area. Like exactly. That. trying to look for the key. 
Swoosh cassette tape. Do you watch Stranger Things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is like the hardest thing. Is that worth a lot of money now, probably? It's, you can sell a cassette for 100 bucks, probably. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> You know, it's a real short time where it's valuable. But, right. Uh, I never even thought about that, but yeah. yeah. The, the, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Man, that was a good season. Yeah. One of the vintage ones is kind of neat. It's like German train building supplies or something. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> kind of. I think two of these are, I guess that's German, I don't know. This guy's in rough shape. That's a newer, newer thing. Just, huh. I don't know, it just looks cool. It does look cool. That's half the battle. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be worth something. <laughs> All right, what do you think on this pile here? Howdy. for everything <laughs> oh yeah for okay. sure yeah yeah all righty thank awesome, you buddy. thank you so much mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you good luck Do you have oh I'll, no no i'll Go make on. a couple trips okay. yeah i'm sure you'll have customers soon oh, <laughs> there you go on the tv would you do 20 oh yeah that'll be fine <laughs> thinking about it <laughs> yeah no, it's, it's, uh, it's good i used it a lot of times awesome thank you, thank you. All right, so we are back in the garage and I would say that that was a monumental morning of yard sales. A lot of times in my videos, you'll see like two or three yard sales, maybe four, but realistically on that morning, I went to like 15 or 20. These were the only two sales I went to. They were the only two sales on my list that looked interesting and man, did they pay off. They were both great for very different reasons. So real quick, let's try to look at some of this stuff. All right, so we'll start with the second sale here. Now you may be asking yourself, why did I offer 20 bucks for this TV? When these TVs are often found at yard sales for like five bucks, two bucks, even free sometimes. And that is because A, I have been looking for a small CRT for retro video game systems and B, the initial deal at 80 bucks was just a fantastic deal. So I just wanted to pay up on the TV a little bit just because I was so happy with the original deal. And the TV does work fine. I've already tested several game systems on it. But 80 bucks for the initial pile was just a really solid yard sale deal. The kind of deal that you just really need sometimes just to make this kind of business work. Now, it's not like I'll make thousands of dollars on this stuff, but the per unit price on some pretty decent little pieces is low and that's awesome. So just looking through some of it quickly, we have the Ideal Jalopy Showdown Crash Cars. We have the Radio Shack Turbo Racer 27. We actually have some uh, vintage 80s G.I. Joe vehicles like the Mobats and the APC right there. I think this is a Desert Striker from 2001 from G.I. Joe. I believe it is complete with all these accessories because there's, there's two big bags of accessories as well as quite a few action figures. I think most of these are early 2000s Joes. But I think most of this stuff should be complete. Just gotta lay all this stuff out and match them all up with their accessories. A lot of these should sell for like 10 to 30 bucks a piece just depending on what the they are and then we have some figures that are mint on card like the 2000 ad johnny alpha there's a few 90s mint on card gi joe figures a couple of those a couple of the newer gi joe classified figures like the snake eyes here that's i mean that's got to be worth a few bucks got some sealed micro machines there's a star trek set and a star wars set and then over here just some random stuff like some like some old train accessories california raisins a train car some vhs like this sealed betty boop set pokemon scarface goosebumps a little bit of plush so 100 bucks all in at that sale with the tv very solid deal very friendly people excited that i went to this sale now at the first sale of the day quite a bit more risk i spent 450 dollars total 350 on the box of comics and then 100 for the other stuff it was advertised as an antique yard sale so i was expecting the prices to maybe be a little higher but the ad did mention some comics so it was worth it to take a shot first of all we have this kabbalah game here this is almost complete it's missing the marble but the box is very nice 
pretty rare game, pretty hard to find a nice box like this. I think it should do pretty well, judging by the comps I see. And then we have the box of old teen magazines from the 1970s. A lot of Tiger Beat, a lot of David Cassidy stuff, a lot of Osmond stuff, a big stack of like American Girl magazines, Young and Loving Teen, which I think is the weirdest name for a magazine ever. This was kind of a weird one that I found down in the box. It's a uh, 1971 Reds yearbook magazine. It's got a bunch of uh, signatures on it. Some are scribbled over. So I, don't, I mean, I don't know what's real, but this one does say Pete Rose and that looks like Pete Rose's signature over his picture. Kind of funny to find in there. I think the rarest one I found in the whole box was this one right here. It's Teen Raves number one. Pretty rare magazine. Doesn't pop up a lot. And when it does, it tends to sell for around $75, which if you remember initially is what the fellow wanted to charge me for the entire box. The fact that we can lot up a lot of these other things like the American Girls, there's, there's a couple dozen of those. The Tiger Beats, there's quite a few of those. Those should all generate decently, but this one right here should pay for the entire box. And the biggest gamble of all was the 350 bucks on the on the box of comic books. As you could see, there were there were quite a few not in great condition. In fact, that this entire stack here is missing covers. But I saw all these comics and I felt like there was potential there. There was some really interesting looking stuff regardless of condition. And something that some people may not be aware of is even comics without covers can hold value. And there are even some comics like Action Comics number one, one page can be worth thousands of dollars. So I wasn't really scared of the stack of coverless comics. I just saw that as, as kind of a little treasure hunt. But anyway, there ended up being about 70 savable comics. I got them all bagged and boarded. There was probably 20 or 25 of them that weren't necessarily worth saving. And then as far as the coverless comics go, we, we have about 10 that I thought were worth separating and bagging and boarding on their own, like Mr. Miracle number four here. So the way I see it is this stack would be one lot. This stack of incomplete and shredded stuff should be another lot. Both of these should generate a little money on their own. But the most interesting thing in the entire box was this right here. But this is the type of thing that I was hoping to find. This is House of Secrets number 92. This is the first appearance of Swamp Thing from 1971. And as you can see, it only has about half a cover. It does have the complete back cover and it has all the pages. This is one of those comics that in good condition can sell for five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. A grail comic, if you will. Obviously, this one is in nowhere near good condition. However, it is complete minus the shredded front cover. A really rough copy with a cover can still sell for like five, six, seven hundred dollars $700. And when I looked on Worth Point and Terapeak, I see that coverless issues of this comic, they tend to sell for a, about $275. I think there's one on Worth Point from 2020 that sold for exactly that. And when I looked on Terapeak, Peak, there was one from earlier this year that sold for exactly that. This copy of House of Secrets number 92 should sell for close to $300, which would which would pay for most of this entire box. So like I said, that's what I was hoping I would find, something like that, and lo and behold, amazing. But there is a solid stack of really neat stuff. Conditions vary. Some are in pretty okay condition. Some are in not so good condition. I would say that they range from a few pours to mostly good to fine. So maybe I'll try to throw up some comps for some of these, but keep in mind that the conditions may not be the same and it'll just be probably a percentage of those sold comps. Action Comics 267, Action Comics 256. This one's pretty rough on the cover, but we have World's Finest number 114, Adventure Comics 286, Superman 128, Superman 127, the first appearance of Titano, Adventure Comics 265, My Greatest Adventure number 58, Action Comics 268, Justice League America number six. I believe this was the first appearance of Amos Fortune. We have The Flash number 122, Strange Adventures 86, Action Comics 266, like Ghost number three, The Phantom Stranger, The Heap number one, that one's kind of neat, Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen 162, but yeah, tons and tons of just really cool, solid stuff. Like I said, most of the money should be made back with the House of Secrets. And then everything else we see here should end up being close to close to profit or just fun investment type stuff. All right, so that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap